The society is shown here in 1993, reenacting the laying of the cornerstone for the United States Capitol on the 200th anniversary of the event. Know all of you who hear me, we proclaim ourselves free and lawful Masons, true to the laws of our country, professing to revere God and to confer benefits upon mankind. This is the ceremony in which Senator Strom Thurmond, himself a 33rd degree Mason, took part. Senator Thurmond, we would like you to join in this. Since the William Morgan incident in 1826, when Americans uncovered a secret cabal working inside the government, the presence of masonry in places of power has always sparked debate. But their influence in American government is undeniable. This is the same Bible upon which Presidents Clinton, Bush, Carter, and George Washington were inaugurated president. Of America's 43 presidents, at least 15 are confirmed Masons, though some say the number is even greater. In addition to the Capitol, the Freemasons have laid the cornerstone for every major building in Washington, D.C. The cornerstones of the President's House, known to us as the White House, the Washington Monument, the Smithsonian, Independence Hall in Philadelphia, incidentally by past Grand Master Benjamin Franklin, and Constitution Hall, stand out among many others as outstanding examples of cornerstones which have been laid Masonically. The cornerstone of the United States Capitol, however, stands out above all buildings erected in the free world as the seat of government for our people. This bronze plaque, located inside the U.S. Capitol, marks the spot where the original cornerstone was laid by George Washington, the first American president and a Freemason. George Washington is probably the most famous Mason in the world. The George Washington Masonic Memorial is entirely dedicated to the idea of Washington as a Freemason. Now, we do know that uh, Washington uh, participated in the laying of the cornerstone of the United States Capitol as a Masonic ceremony, and he wore his regalia as a Master Mason. And he laid the cornerstone and performed the ceremony of laying the cornerstone. Washington's participation in the event was recorded by the newspaper of the time, the Columbian Mirror, which can still be obtained through the Library of Congress. Laying the cornerstones of buildings which serve mankind is one of the world's most ancient customs. The cornerstone laying ceremony predates Freemasonry, um, although its early s uh, symbolic purposes uh, as, a, as a sacrifice to appease the gods uh, or, or demons or whatever in, in prehistorical times, of course, has no application to why Freemasons do it. The corn, wine, and oil that we, uh, that we use for this are, are also ancient symbols. Corn is the symbol of plenty. Wine, the symbol of refreshment, and oil, the symbol of joy and gladness. While Masonry maintains these symbols as a representation of blessing, there are some who believe they hold a more hidden meaning. With symbols, there are always multiple levels, up to seven different levels of interpretation with every particular symbol. Corn is an important symbol in Masonry and is one found repeatedly in Washington, D.C. But what sort of hidden meaning could apply to corn 